Hello there, puzzle friends. Again, we're here today with a video. Um, I don't know if I would name it a haul or something like this, but either way, there are some new puzzles here, and I'm excited to open and see them for the first time with you. Uh, as you well already can see on the side, we have two boxes. Both of them are from the same um, uh, shop. And I actually ordered them the same day and they came also the same day. Uh, why I did two orders, uh, you will see I bought a jigsaw puzzle that's part of a series. And then I decided maybe I should buy the whole series or something like this. And so I bought the another two puzzles. So, but without further ado, let's see what I did got in the mail and let's see if it's something that you also like or something that you would, you would uh, let's say, not buy. These jigsaw puzzles are somewhat special and uh, as I said, they are from the same shop. It's a shop different than what I uh, usually use. And it's a shop that has many action figures uh, from movies and stuff like this. And they also had jigsaw puzzles. So, why not? Ah, I did order uh, in them. I did open them in the same order. This one is the first one. Dr. Livingstone's. Uh, I'm not okay, it's uh, funny. They also have it in, in voice. Also in German, I didn't know that. Um, it's an anatomy puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle that shows the intern organs of the human, uh, of humans. Uh, this one is the first one I bought. Uh, these one are not cheap. I like that it's somewhat like a book or something like this. These are not cheap, uh, at least not in Europe cheap. Uh, I do believe they are made in America. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Schwerkraft. Made in China. Oh, when you have it. Still, uh, uh, they are not the cheapest puzzles you can acquire, but I did feel, uh, I did find them interesting and different. And I also, uh, as I said many times in this uh, Jigsaw Puzzle channel, I like the jigsaw puzzle that combine uh, knowledge and jigsaw puzzle. And I do believe this is one of them. This is one of the first one from the series. The other one should be in the other box. The other two uh, uh, ones. So, without further ado, uh, it's not many tiles, but it's. I do believe their dimensions are quite big. Uh, here it says if you buy all of them, I've actually never seen th these parts, also hands and feet, I have never seen it. They may are not ready out yet, I'm not sure. If you made the whole thing, it's three meters. So, but enough about this, let's see the other ones. Because that are not the only ones I bought. So, this one is uh, from Harry Potter, it's the biggest that you can see. It's from Aquarius. Uh, the brand Aquarius is also from America. I've never actually done an Aquarius puzzle. And that's also one reason why I did buy this. Uh, I did like this uh, easy framing format. I did like the picture of it. Uh, somewhat uh, like the star signs or something like this. I'm not a very... Um, knowledgeable about Harry Potter stuff. You may know this better, 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 I'll, better than me or something like this. Uh, 1000 piece puzzle. You will never have to worry about a Dementor. Again, after harnessing. The power of the happy memories, you will make piecing this together, this 1000 piece puzzle. Expecto Patronum. Good. So let's go to the last one from this box. Ah, this one is also somewhat different. 
Ah, and they also put inside some prospectors, some flyers, and some uh, and some stuff that that are. Um, this is also the, but they're not interesting. The jigsaw puzzles are interesting. And this one. Uh, I did bought also, it was somewhat different. I don't find it on the regular uh, jigsaw puzzle shops that I buy. Uh, licensed product. I don't see a name or, or some sort from the jigsaw puzzle company. So this way, SD Toys merchandising. Also new brand for me, I'm not sure what the quality will be. But uh, as you may know, I really like sharks and stuff like this, so I said, why shouldn't I buy this one? The movie was also uh, an important movie in the history of um, cinema. Now let's see the second part, the second box. So. Uh, the delivery, as I said, was very quick. I did order them one day and they came two or three days later. But it was also weakened inside, so it was very fast. So let's see. The packaging is also very good. And it's funny that they also did Two boxes, although they uh, they probably realize that it's the same person. This one is the second part from Dr. Livingstone's series. Uh, this one is somewhat a little less uh, pictures, uh, less um, pieces. It's the lungs, the head. Let's see how this actually looks like. And probably this is the artist. He did study in John Hopkins University School of Medicine. Here he works more than ten years. Ah, he works more than ten years in painting, anatomy, anatomy and stuff like this. So, as you may see here, it says. Teil 2 von 6, nein, von 7, Teil 2, Teil 2 von 7. So they have 7 tiles. Uh, we have this tile, you saw already, we have this tile, which is this one. This one we will see right now. And this one, the feet and the hands, make the puzzle um, ready. But as I already said, I have never seen the hands and the... Uh, and the feet. And this one is the last tile, which is the um, the stomach and the intensity sign, incesty signs. I probably butchered that word, uh, but you know what it is. Intestines. Uh, now I know it. What it how it was. Uh, ah, it's ah. That is also interesting. I didn't see that. Uh, it says also that it's uh, two hundred, two hundred, two thousand times, two hundred times. I said it correctly. Um, correct. Two thousand times bigger. Also, it's somewhat like uh, it was put under the um, a Microsoft or a magnifying glass or something like this. Also, this one is also an interesting one, but I, I did throw also in the um, in the order. This one is, as you can see, it's a big one, three thousand pieces. Again, from the brand Aquarius, so it's not very um, common to find here in Europe. Uh, actually, this one you can find it. But it's not on all the jigsaw puzzle shops and stuff like this. 
Uh, the name is A Magical Mystery Tour of 1000 Beatles Songs. So it's supposed to have 1000 Beatles songs. I did really like the idea of um, making a picture of a song of, uh, of Beatles. The Beatles were a very important band. Uh, I'm not sure if I would uh, identify all of them. They may also, they may have a brochure or something inside, but they are explaining what they have. I don't know if you can see the picture because of the glare. I do hope you can see it. Uh, yeah, it looks also very interesting as, as a picture. Uh, I'm not sure if I can spot any songs here immediately. Uh, so somewhat difficult to hold it from the camera as you can see it and for that I can also see it well that was is actually the jigsaw puzzle that we had today not many jigsaw puzzles actually there are only six of them but I do find that uh, they are all somewhat uh, interesting and somewhat different from what I usually do here they also say they have a song key included yeah, when we open this, we will see uh, what actually that is. Embark your own magical mystery tour as you complete this 3000 piece puzzle based on Art by Tom Masse, Mace, I don't know how it's pronounced, featuring 1000 different Beatles songs. As a bonus, we accumulate the song key to help guide you along the tour. As I, as I imagined, they do have inside somewhat that is explaining what are here depicted. Interestingly, I can see some uh, houses that they do remind me of Germany and stuff like this. But we will see it in detail when we puzzle it. Uh, having that said, I do have somewhat of uh, issues, should I say when I can puzzle this one because it's 3000 pieces and it's also 82 by 115 centimeters or in inches 32 inches times uh, 45 inches that means it's a jigsaw puzzle that uh, takes a lot of space it's some um, big it's also many pieces I don't expect it to be easy for, with this picture uh, and the issue is that once is that you need time to make this uh, that means it will be more than a span of a weekend span or something like this because I mostly puzzle on weekends uh, and the, the issue is that I do need to make another setup so that I can film it and show it also to you so you can see also these uh, time-lapse videos that I make or the videos that I do make that are somewhat of a review. Having that said, that is from me for today. Again, six puzzles, not many, but I do find in them very interesting as jigsaw puzzles. Do you have any one of them? Have you tried any one of them? Would you try one of them? As always, feel free to write me in the comments. I'm always happy to read your comments and to get in touch with uh, fellow jigsaw puzzlers or fellow fans of this hobby. That's it from me for today. Thanks again. Happy for um, thanks again for watching. Happy puzzling and stay safe until next time. Goodbye.